Lane here with After Buzz, and I'm here with some really cool people involved with Sword Art Online. And you just had a panel. And why don't you introduce yourself? And how did the panel go? Uh, I'm Sherry Lee. I'm the English voice of Asuna in Sword Art Online. I'm Bryce Pappenbrook, the English voice of Kitty Tail in Sword Art Online. I'm Alex Von David. I adapted and directed the English dub of Sword Art Online. And how was the panel? It was so much fun. Yeah, we got to MC again yeah. this year. Um, I know when I'm MCing with Jeremy, it's going to go well. Yeah. She's just amazing up there. He's got it. He's yeah. got it under control. Yeah, you guys are super fun. <laughs> yeah, you guys are super fun. And Alex was in the hot seat this year. Yeah, oh, for okay. a change, which is really weird. But um, I got to meet uh, uh, the director and the character designer and the producer of Sword Art, and that was a, a real treat for me. So I'm still kind of like, oh, that was cool. So. And there was art being given away. Oh, yeah. So amazing. He, uh, Mr. Adachi did live drawings and then raffled them all off, which was incredible. All of my distractions didn't affect the quality of the art. I distracted him a lot. I think you panel. motivated him more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, was, it was incredible to see. Now, season three, how do you feel the fans here are reacting to it? I mean, I think Sword Art fans are, are really unlike any other fandom they're so enthusiastic they just want more 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 content so i think everybody in there was like give us more we have to wait till october we want it now yeah. it was great to see the room packed again uh we love the support we i wish more people would fit in that room like yeah. we need a bigger room i yeah. agree yeah, it was, uh, uh, again, the room was, was filled to the gills, and there were still people outside, which sucks. But um, I think everybody in, everybody there had fun, I hope. Okay. I hope. They certainly were enthusiastic. Yes. They were very, very rowdy in the best way possible. Although this panel, um, this is just based on the panels that we were on together before for, like, Sword Art Season 2 or whatever. Didn't this panel seem very sort of, kind of, like, chill? Yeah, it was very chill until Bryce started listing off raffle, raffle ticket numbers, yeah. and then they were like <laughs> ready to attack yeah. him. It was amazing. I, I saw some people like next when someone didn't call yeah. their number, yeah. even though the person is walking up to oh, get their yeah. item. They're like, nope, nope, nope. It was hilarious. Like, you did not claim it fast enough. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They're like, we're sitting here yeah. and we're ready. Now, I mean, some people have checked out a little bit of Sword Art. What would you tell people who haven't watched the third season why they should get back in? Oh, that haven't watched the third season? I mean, The Underworld. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's different It's different stakes, yeah. again. Um, and it's not, uh, Kirito's not stuck in a game or playing a game at this point. He's actually, uh, he's in a, 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 a simulated civilization with cloned souls. Um, so it's, it's a little different stakes. Yeah, the tech is really interesting. I, I almost felt like the game, like, it was like a reset into season one. Like... Um, the stakes were just just as high as it was at the beginning of the series, and it's that same sort of vibe. So it's it's awesome. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, for for Asuna, I think for her the stakes are even higher because Kirito's yeah. life is is in jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, she totally takes initiative. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I was like, yes. it's so good. Yes. Now, uh, for your own character and performance, and then directing. What was it like doing this season? What was different for you or something that surprised you? Well, that first episode just kind of catapults Asuna into like a, I'm sorry, we're going into this. It was really, really intense. Uh, but we kind of get to see more of like an investigating side to her personality and trying to find all this stuff, which Alex will always tell me like, it's not that serious yet. <laughs> Apparently, I just like am always anticipating the worst, because it's Sword Art Online, and the worst yes. does come to fruition. I'm just three seasons of yes. like preparation. Yeah. So he's like, it's not that bad yeah. just, yet. just yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, for Kirito, I got to play him very different than I've ever yeah. played him before. Um, I've used three different kinds of voices for Kirito. It's like normal Kirito, Kirito inside Gun Gale, slightly feminine, full-on feminine Kirito, but now Kirito as a kid. Yeah. So it was uh, it was very challenging playing, you know, that type of voice. Um, I mean, um, different. Um, I mean, aside from the world and the stakes and the story and all that stuff, um, and then of course working with uh, newer actors with newer characters, or I should say newer actors to me anyway, um, it just, it, 
I can't explain it. It feels it feels like um, like the first day that we recorded on Alicization felt like the 25th day recording on Sword Art. You know, it was like, oh, hey, Jeremy. So this is what's going on in this episode. Hey, Bryce, this is what's going on here. So it's uh, I since I've working with them for so long, it's. Um, it just feels like home, you know? Does that yeah. make sense? So, yeah. 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 Now, is there anything else you'd like to add about Alicization or anything else you're working on? Oh, I'm, I'm working on a couple projects. Uh, actually, another show for Anaplex. I'm playing Red Blood Cell in Cells oh, at Work, yay. so that'll cool. be fun. Um, I'm just excited to get back into Alicization. I know, I, I, for me, I have uh, been waiting. I feel like waiting in the wings for Asuna to get out there and uh, turn into her badass self that takes charge and makes things happen. And they promised me that's coming this season, so I'm ready. Without spoiling anything, um, I'll just say I can't wait to see what happens next. It, it ends on a massive cliffhanger, and I, October can't come fast enough. Um, other things I'm working on right now, I've been talking a lot. Um, show called Attack on Titan, still uh, <laughs> still out there floating around, so I've been yelling a lot in that. Um, and a bunch of stuff that I can't talk about yet, so uh, look out for some announcements. Same thing as Bryce, I can't talk about uh, the other things because I don't think they've been announced yet. Um, if they, uh, I was kind of hoping they would be announced here, but I haven't been able to check Twitter, so I don't know what's going on. Um, so hopefully nobody scoops you. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to work on Sword Art later on this year if they don't recast me. <laughs> so, Never. We'll see, we'll see. They can't. Alex, yeah. Alex is irreplaceable. I mean, he the reason the scripts are so great and there's so much care is because of Alex. And uh, it's it's a completely unique situation. Like you said, coming back to work with on Sword Art feels like home, and, and Alex is, is a major reason for why that's the case. So it wouldn't be right without him. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. So you can check out Sword Art Season 3, Alicization. It's on Crunchyroll. That's the way I was binging it. Yeah. Because, oh, man, you just want the next episode to see what happens. And, again, thank you so much. Hope you have a good rest of the time at Anime Expo. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, My name's Carrie Lane with AfterBuzz TV. Thank you for watching.